Let's get to this stoush involving the Defence Minister. Andrew, uh, basically at war with his own department, certainly not good for national security. Well, what we've seen since April last year when Richard Miles handed down the Defence Strategic Review is no new money. We've seen cuts to capability and we've seen the deferral of tough decisions uh, like the Surface Fleet Review and also a defence strategy. And now we're seeing dysfunction with his, within his own department where he has officials briefing against him. And yesterday, in question time, he admitted to giving um, senior officials like the CDF and the Secretary of Defence a dressing down. Uh, so he's got a problem. And um, it seems like he's also exercising his right to disconnect because he's got a massive pile of paperwork on his desk that needs actioning. And one of the issues within defence is that he's not moving fast enough. So he's got to up his game. He's got to lead, particularly because we're facing the most dangerous strategic circumstances since the end of the Second World War. Andrew, is this on, is this on Richard Miles or is this on the um, seniors at the Defence Department, because there's, there's, there's for a long time, there's, there seems to have been a disconnect between the two, the Defence Department and the senior minister. Well, Richard Miles himself in October of 2022 said that the buck stopped with him as the Minister for Defence. And it's my belief as well that the speed of the boss is the speed of the team. And Richard Miles is low speed and high drag. And that's why we're hearing whispers out of the Defence Department. Now, they've got a job to do as well and they need to rise to the occasion and deliver for the Australian people. So what we need from Richard Miles is to lead, and he's currently a part-time Defence Minister. He's a Deputy Prime Minister, but he's not fully involved in his portfolio. And as a result, we're seeing delays, we're seeing paperwork piling up, and we're not getting what we need out of, out of our Defence Minister. Well, how tenable is this, I mean, moving forward, Andrew? Because, you know, there's... Uh... As uh, we were told by Aspie this morning, Malcolm Davis was on the program. You know, we've, we've potentially got war in the north in the next couple of years, talking China and Taiwan here. We've got two wars that are taking place at the moment. Meanwhile, here, we've got a defence minister who uh, is certainly not on the same team as uh, senior officials at the Defence Department at the moment. We're in a very dangerous period for our history and we're, we're currently uh, not able to step up to the plate and operate with our coalition partners. This is a weak government. It's especially weak on national security. The Red Sea um, is posing all sorts of problems for global trade. We've always sent ships. Over the last 30 years, we've sent 57 vessels and we couldn't even stump up, stump up a single frigate as part of the coalition. So um, I, I'm deeply concerned and uh, Richard Miles needs to lift his game or he should move on. And Anthony Albanese should appoint someone who can get the job done. Andrew Hasty, thanks for getting up uh, so early for us in the West. Appreciate it. I uh, know it's going to be a hot day over there too, so take care. We'll talk to you soon. Always a pleasure.